Where should a radiant barrier be installed? There are a lot of different opinions, concerns, and questions on where and how to install the radiant barrier. Now, we at Energy Improvements have been in business since 1989. We have put in tens of millions of square feet of radiant barrier across the country. Now, the Department of Energy recognizes five different installation applications. What application will give you the biggest savings? The Reflective Insulation Manufacturers Association, REMA, teamed up with the prestigious scientists at the Florida Solar Energy Center and Texas A&M to discover the optimal installation method. Out of the five methods researched, the conclusion reads, when the radiant barrier is placed on the studs, it not only reduces all the radiation exchange between the roof and fibrous insulation, but also between the walls and insulation, increasing the resistance of the insulation itself. Therefore, the reduction of heat flux is greater when the radiant barrier is placed on the attic floor studs. At Energy Improvements, we install the radiant barrier with either the rafter installation or on top of the insulation method. However, we recommend and install over 90% on top of the traditional insulation. We not only recommend based off the research from top universities and organizations, but we found that by installing on the rafters, you lose the following benefits. Fire safety. Unfortunately, we've had five customers who've had various house fires since 1989. And in every case, the firefighters and even insurance representatives made huge statements about how Energy Improvement's Radiant Barrier Shield kept the fire from spreading. Also, in a few cases, helped save lives. By installing this on the rafter, this benefit would have been lost. You also lose the winter benefit because the warmer and lighter air will escape past the insulation and your warm attic, while at the same time, the denser and cooler air will fall into your living space. Also, your shingles are at risk. It has been shown that rafter applications will literally heat your shingles up and keep them 10 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. This has led to some shingle warranties being voided. In multiple studies by REMA, it has shown that you will save more on your utility bills with the shield being installed on top of the insulation. Finally, it takes more material and labor to do a rafter job. So in closing, if you decide to go with the rafter application, you will ultimately pay more on labor and materials, and it's been proven you will receive less energy savings in the long run. We hope you found this video informative. If you would like more information or have any questions, please contact us at energyimprovements.net or call 800-256-5867.